Hey guys, I just got my Echo Show from Amazon. I wanna walk you through the steps on how to set this up out of the box. But just to do a quick overview, what you get in the box itself, you have your power adapter, as well as the Echo Show itself. And you'll also get a little instruction guide booklet that should help us walk through this process on setting the device up. But just to show you what these different buttons do on the top, we have this button right here. If you hold it down, then it's the power off and on button. If you just click it, it's gonna turn on and off your mic as well as the camera on the Echo Show. You have volume up and down buttons. These little holes here are the microphones at the top. And then you have this little slider, which is going to hide the camera if you want it to do so. So when you slide it this way, then it covers the camera. You slide it this way, then it opens up the camera there. So those are the different buttons and things that we have at the top of the Echo Show. Now, step number one in this process, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the power source at the back of our Echo Show. It also shows you that it has a 3.5 millimeter audio output on the back as well. So I'm gonna take the adapter. And on the back of this device, go ahead and plug it in right there. And then the other end I'm gonna be plugging into the wall. So it says after you plug it in, in about a minute the display will turn on and Alexa will greet you. So we're gonna be waiting for that. The step number two, it says follow the on-screen instructions to set up the Echo Show. During setup, you will connect your Echo Show to the internet so you can access Amazon services. Please make sure that you have your Wi-Fi password. I'm sorry that that's a little out of focus there, uh, but that is the second step that we're gonna be waiting on our device for once it greets us. So then it says getting your device online. This may take a moment. It's searching for Wi-Fi networks in my general vicinity. For me, it's gonna be 10 to 22, so I'm gonna select that with the touch screen there. And then go ahead and select whichever Wi-Fi network is your wireless router that you wanna hook up to. And then on this page, type in your Wi-Fi password, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then once you have that password typed in, go ahead and click Done. And then we're gonna save the password to Amazon and click Connect. So then I just entered in my password, now I'm gonna click Sign In. And now it is registering and loading. And then it wants you to confirm your time zone. I am in the Eastern Daylight Time, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Continue. If not, you can just select right there and change it to the time zone that you want it set up with. And then on this page, it's gonna have the address that's associated with the primary shipping address on your Amazon account. If you want, you can change it to a different address if you wanna do that, but it will give you things such as local weather, traffic, things such as that. So go ahead and click continue if the address is what you want it to be set up as. And then you can pick which group that you want your Echo Show in. Basically, the groups are gonna be the different rooms of your house. So for me, I'm actually not exactly sure where I'm gonna be having my Echo Show. So just for the time being, I'm gonna use living room and then I'm gonna, since it's already there, I'm gonna go ahead and click skip. And then you can name your device here. This is my first Echo Show. So for whatever reason, it's saying second Echo Show. So I'm gonna edit that on this page just erase that second Echo Show and just have it be Eric's Echo Show, click done. And then that's what I want my device name to be. So then I'm gonna click continue. And then you can choose your wallpaper on this page if you want to do so. I'm gonna click the nature option and then click continue. And then the Echo Show is gonna update and continue loading. If you don't already have Amazon Prime, it'll likely offer you a free trial here. If you don't want that, go ahead and click no thanks. And then it will offer us a 30 day free trial to Amazon Music. I'm also gonna say no thanks to that. This device is ready. So now it says the device is ready. It has the time as well as the temperature and the little sunshine there is indicating that it is sunny outside. Now at this point, you're set up and ready to go. If you want to change the settings of your Echo Show, you can do this by taking your finger and dragging down the top section. And this is going to have some different settings options for us in terms of the brightness. You can turn on do not disturb. And then there's also the little gear settings option there. 
So I'm just going to click on that to show you what opens up. So it'll have things like your Bluetooth settings, your network settings, display brightness, wallpaper and clock, uh, content, sounds, do not disturb, communication device options, and the list goes on from there. So those are all the different settings options that you're going to have in that section. So now we're going to go back to the home screen. And if you want to access your shortcuts with your finger, you can drag those in from the side. And to get your device working and answering you, you just call out its name and standard, it's gonna be called Alexa. So as you can see, when I called out its name, it has the little blue line there at the bottom. That's indicating that it's currently listening to what I'm saying, stop listening. And when you call out its name, you can have it play video, such as maybe your Amazon Prime video, for instance. You can have it play movies, TV shows, things such as that. So for instance, you can ask it how tall Mount Everest is, and then it will give you that dimension. I mean, the questions that you can ask it are pretty endless. Now, with my experience, I have noticed that my Google Home devices answer questions a bit better than Alexa devices. They are improving, and we'll see how this continues over time. When you call out your device's name, it can also give you news, podcasts, weather, sports reports, control different smart home devices, video call, people in your family, set timers and alarm clocks, things such as that. So there's quite a few things that you can do with this particular device. And the longer that you have it, the more you'll get comfortable with it and learning all those different things that you can use to access on your Echo Show. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.